from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we'll take you on a hunting adventure across central and southern Texas. This part of the state is already well known for its abundance of big whitetail, turkey, and other native species, but there are other opportunities. I have to think, in my opinion, after talking to people across the nation, that exotic uh, game animals are probably one of the most misunderstood animals that you're going to find out there. Uh, they are an incredible challenge in, in, the, in the right circumstances to be able to hunt. And in the right circumstances is, is uh, hunting them in something that's similar to their native land where they've got an understanding of the terrain and they've got a fair chance. We're not talking about high fenced ranches, though they do exist. We're hunting free range. And we'll kick things off with Wade and Keith Daffron on the hunt for black buck. We went out the very last minute of the very last road that we could scope we looked down and there he was, and so you'll see on the film where it just, it, it couldn't have worked out any better. First black buck, it's documented on film, shoulder mount. Regardless of what my wife says, there's a shoulder mount headed to my basement. That's where it's supposed to go, isn't it? That's where it's supposed to go, right there. How about that? <laughs> we chase them suckers around pretty good. Oh, yeah, we've given them a hard time, haven't we? <laughs> Man, what a gorgeous animal. Black buck and the axis are both uh, originated from India, and you know they have adapted to Texas incredibly well. They tend to prefer those wide open areas because they've got great eyesight. They can see the their predators, you know, coming from a long distance away. And it's a very popular animal for people to hunt safari style, you know, ride around and glass for them, and then get out and spot and stock. And, and my advice to people when they make a mistake when it comes to uh, to hunting a black buck. If you're behind them, you better figure out a way to get in front of them because you're not going to catch up to them. Another great exotic that has gained a tremendous amount of uh, popularity recently is the Audet. Um, they have become incredibly popular to hunt for obvious reasons. They're a very challenging, challenging animal out there. Uh, they live in some very unforgiving terrain in certain places, and, they, and in, the, in the other places you'll find them in large open areas. They are an animal, in my opinion, that um, you know make up that top exotic animals out there to want to go hunt. Coming up, we'll take a look at the Axis deer, one of the most common exotic species you'll find free-ranging in Texas. Before you head out to the field, stop by Cabela's for the gear you need. If you're on the market for a new pair of binoculars, check out the Nikon Monarch 5. You can find them online at cabelas.com. Hey guys, we're here with the uh, Bubble Blade hunting knife. It's a great new piece of steel from Bubble Blade. You can use it as a long knife, cutting or, or uh, deboning type knife. You can shorten it up for more your more delicate skinning type work when you're uh, processing uh, deer, hog, whatever you've killed that day. And the best thing about it is this is a no slip grip no matter how wet or greasy a sucker gets, you're not gonna slip on this blade. It is razor sharp. It's the cure-all for knives. I mean, it really is. 
whether it's deer, fish. I mean, I've, I don't know how many fish I've flayed with one of these. I carry one in my boat. I carry one in my backpack. I mean, everywhere I go, if it's gonna have to do with the outdoors, I've got a bubble blade. After your next successful deer hunt, savor the flavor with a Bradley Smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for venison with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the hunt at BradleySmoker.com. The Alaskan Series Cooler Packs by Arctic Ice. Specifically designed to keep your food and drinks cold all day long without having to use ice and end up with a soggy lunch. The Alaskan Series by Arctic Ice. Bitterly cold. Americana Outdoors is brought to you by Garmin and the power of simple. By Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. By Smith & Wesson, made in the USA since 1852. Welcome back. We're in Southwest Texas, where the hill country meets the southern edge of the Big Bend region and a variety of species roam the canyons and valleys, offering hunters challenging year-round opportunities. On this segment, we'll take a look at the axis deer. You know, an axis that is mature will leave you speechless when it comes into an area. I mean, you're gonna see its antlers <laughs> a long way away coming to the brush. And when they walk and they turn their head and they start thrashing brush and they get into all the different sounds that they make and then you get a full view of, of that, that beautiful coat they've got. Um, talk about buck fever. You know, even if it's not in range, that's gonna get you pretty shook up. And uh, when you look at some of the, the big axis that we've captured on scouting cameras that we've been hunting out here that we've been unsuccessful to be able to take is at, at times it really it really puts it in perspective how challenging a, it is to harvest a big, mature, free-ranging axis. They are an animal that are a very wary challenge, uh, but I believe that their sense of smell, their sense of hearing, and their eyesight, and their dominance in certain areas uh, really makes them a tough challenge for us to be able to hunt. For our next hunt, we'll join up with the FLW's three-time Angler of the Year and Americana Outdoors staff, Clark Wendlet. I'm on a 2,500-acre low-fence ranch that has wild access. And, I mean, it's a population here. It's not just, oh, here there's one roaming through here, there's one roaming through there. That happens in a lot of Texas. But this is a big population of them. There's no high fences around us at all. On the second day of his hunt, Clark was stationed in a pop-up blind, and just before nightfall, a big axis buck walked in less than 35 yards away. At the last second, the buck flinched, ducking low, and the arrow missed its mark. Y yesterday afternoon, we had the opportunity at a really, really nice animal, I mean, beautiful, and I shot over the deer. And, and I really kind of figured out that, I mean, I've made lots of shots in practice, shot time after time, I, I just used the wrong pin. I mean, the, the animal was 35 yards and, and I got to bracket my pins because I got a 30 yard pin and a 40 yard pin and I, and I bracketed it. And I basically just, I think I just chose 40 to 50 and just shot right over him. I mean, I was over him by a bit, you know, it wasn't like it was really close. So I, it was just the wrong pin. Returning to the same blind the following afternoon, Clark settled in and waited. We had a great hunt. We had a couple of days to come down here. Yesterday evening was just a phenomenal hunt. We had two opportunities. The, the one that I really wanted to shoot, um, it just got in a window that I couldn't shoot. It was just one little place that I couldn't shoot. And then it ended up, when I could shoot it again, it started going dead away from me. I, I couldn't make that shot. After watching the first buck go, it wasn't long before Clark got a look at a second, an even bigger axis. But this one was wary, reluctant to come in. You can see him, as he's coming up to the camera, you can see his nose just kind of like tighten up. And I mean, he just is like dead sure that we're 30 yards away, and we were. And finally, he just kind of got nervous and just turned around and kind of trotted off. 
you know, that, that part of it, it, it's really awesome to see it, to match your wits against something like that. But I mean, as far as wariness and savvy around people, um, I've not seen anything like it. It's way more, I mean, way more cautious than a whitetail is. Coming up, Clark's had two looks. Will he get a third? There's more hunting coming up. Now, before you head out in the field, check out Cabela's Hunter's Harvest for the tools and tips you'll need to get your meat to the freezer and to the table. If you like smoking your game, check out the Bradley 4-Rack Smoker. You can find it online at cabelas.com. Since 1976, Delta Ag has been an industry leader in plant health and nutrition. With our innovative concept in chemistry, Delta Ag produces healthier crops and improves yields. We formulate biostimulants and micronutrients designed to improve fertilizer efficiency and increase crop response to nutrients. Make your fertilizer go further with reliable products that work. Grow healthier crops from the ground up with versatile low-rate products. Delta Ag, improving plant performance. Since 1996, Frog Togs Outerwear have kept outdoorsmen warm and dry, even in the worst of conditions. Now, Frog Togs have expanded beyond hunting and fishing markets and revolutionized the industry with their patented fabric system. Frog Togs are extremely lightweight and portable. They pack easily in your car, boat, RV, and even on your motorcycle. Best of all, Frog Togs are 100% waterproof and windproof, and yet extremely breathable. Check us out online at frogtogs.com. Frog Togs, stop the rain. What if there was a camera that went where you went and shot what you shot? An action camera so easy to use you can concentrate on your hunt, not the hunt for the record button. A camera that let you add dimensions to your video, like speed, altitude, or even your heart rate, just before you let it fly. Life. Camera. Action. The Verb Elite HD Action Camera from Garmin. When it comes to racing big deer, Purina is the leader in deer nutrition research. Our Antler Max research and development team is committed to developing products that provide results in your deer management program with a difference you can see. If you're ready to take your deer operation to the next level, look no further than Purina's new and improved Antler Max Premium Deer Feeds. You can find them at your local Purina retailer. Purina Antler Max Premium Deer Feed, a difference you can see. After all my years of searching, I finally busted the method I had it. The Angle High Performance Cooler, it's incredible. Just look at this lid, what a powerhouse. It's so freaking strong, so reliable, I just wanna boom. This silicone gasket's better than rubber. Why, oh, hello there. Are your base and sidewalls way thicker for superior insulation? Ah, oh, yes, after 10 days, still cold, still fresh. Let's hear Yeti do that. With Angle Coolers, it's official. The Yeti is busted. Experience high is a brighter sight better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. high vis lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose high vis Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is also brought to you in part by Do All Outdoors, by High Viz Shooting Systems, see what you've been missing, and by Arctic Ice, rugged and reusable cooler packs. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're in the field with Clark Wendlet, and it's day four of his hunt for a trophy axis buck. Clark's had his looks. On day one, he misjudged his distance, shooting over a big one. The following afternoon, he was busted by a swirling wind and never did get a shot. 
you know, everybody in camp wants me to get that deer. I mean, I want him as bad as any deer I'd ever shot in my life. You know, when we're hunting, we're hunting South Texas brush country, the conditions this year are the best for September, October I've ever seen. The pattern has been set up and wait. The blind is positioned in between a bedding and a feeding area, and both axis and whitetail are passing through on a regular basis. Well, it wasn't long before another mature buck wandered in, stopping to graze at nearly the identical spot where Clark missed a few days earlier. He was standing somewhere right, right in about here, and you know one thing I noticed is, is that there wasn't a lot of penetration on that air, and it takes them some time. You know we're going to give this animal some time. Big, giant, tough animals. And, I mean, I, I mean I'm nervous as I can be. I just want to see him. Here's five, six, seven, eight drops right there. More right there. I mean it's. I'm not going to say it's a painted trail, but it's pretty good. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to give him a little bit of time. <clears throat> Man, that's awesome. Oh, God. <sighs> Coming up, we'll wrap up Clark's hunt before joining one lucky hunter in the field courtesy of Thompson Center Arms. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter and your source for the complete line of Garmin electronics like the GPS Map 62S, a handheld GPS unit designed specifically for the hunter and loaded with the Garmin 24K Topo Maps for the most detailed maps in the industry. Yamaha Viking and introducing the all-new Viking 6. The hardest working, most off-road capable side-by-sides in America. Built for the hardest working people on earth. You. When you change the game, you make the rules. Introducing the all-new Stealth SS from Ten Point, the most compact crossbow we've ever created. Ten Point, there is no substitute. When I'm not hunting, I'm thinking about hunting. It's on my mind because it's in my blood. When the hunt calls, my TC Venture points the way. Accurate, reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture hunter, the hunt never ends. Julie Goloski, Smith & Wesson Consumer Program Manager and World Champion Shooter. Joe Zanetti, Smith & Wesson Finishing Specialist and Lifelong Hunter. Jim Dalton, Smith & Wesson Master Gunsmith. I shoot competitively, and so does my son. Our people, our products, our passion. Smith & Wesson. Stealth Cam gives you the edge on the most elusive bugs. Capture high-res stills, HD audio and video, or time-lapse imagery. Nothing escapes our sub-one-second trigger with our advanced multi-zone detection grid. With our energy-efficient design, one set of batteries will last up to a full year. Retina low-light sensitivity captures stunning nighttime imagery out to 100 feet. 
Get all the latest technology in our new G-Series of scouting cameras. The next generation of Stealth Cam has arrived, delivering technologies you need every hunting season. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is also brought to you by Delta Ag, improving plant performance, by 10-point crossbow technologies, and by Nikon Sport Optics. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're in South Texas, where we've been exploring the many opportunities for hunting introduced species. Exotics offer year-round hunting and present a variety of challenges for those used to whitetails and the like. Just before the break, Clark Wendlet, on his fourth day of the hunt, had a big axis buck walk in. Clark took the shot, and the broadhead found its mark. Giving the buck time, Clark waited before beginning the recovery process. It's been a long and difficult hunt, but Clark's been patient, and it might have finally paid off. I have the perfect opportunity, the perfect shot. It all goes down. I make a great shot. He just ducked my string. And, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what to do about it. I mean, it's just, I mean, I've got to deal with it, but um, I really believe the deer's going to live. That, you know, I've, I've shot, had a lot of whitetail shot in our place. I've shot a lot. When you hit one high, which is what happened since he ducked, basically you get kind of in a little dead area. And what happens on a, on a deer is, is that, that that backbone goes through, it's going straight. You know, you think it's on the very top of the body, but it's not, and then it dips a little bit right at the kill zone. Kind of goes down into where that shoulder blade area is and then goes up the neck. And I, I'm pretty confident that I'm over that. I'm just in that backstrap. That deer's gonna be fine. I mean, he, there's not gonna be any problem. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's gonna, he, he lost a, you know, a half a pint of blood, maybe not even that much, it wasn't much. But, um, so what we'll do is, is, you know, to me this hunt's not over. I mean, we're, that deer is the deer that I really want. And I've got the ability uh, with the setup we have here at camp to be able to, you know, put out scouting cameras. Um, you know, we'll have it on feeders, we'll have it on protein feeders, we'll have it on water troughs and we'll see if we can see them. A lot of times those deer, especially during the rut for whitetail, they'll show back up three or four days later. I mean, you know, just a little flesh one. The area's gonna come out, it's not gonna be any big deal. Um, and as soon as we see him, I'm gonna go back to hunt. Clark will get another opportunity, and when he does, we'll be there with him. But for now, we'll head back to camp for one last hunt, courtesy of our friends at Thompson Center Arms. Pretty exciting morning in camp this morning. We got Tim Brown from Pennsylvania in town. He won the Thompson Center Venture giveaway to come down here and join us. Not only did he win the, the hunt, he's also won a bunch of other prizes like another Thompson Center Venture rifle and some goodies enough to fill several backpacks. And he's going out uh, this morning starting off with Jeff. They're gonna be sitting in a box blind. I'm gonna do some scouting for some other black bucks, some axes. We've got a wide range of animals on the menu. Tim could shoot a whitetail, he could shoot an odd dad, he could shoot an axis, a black buck. He's kind of going grocery shopping this morning based on finding something good and mature. He's gonna try to put that venture on it and knock it down. So this is gonna be a pretty exciting time. We got several days ahead of us and we'll just see what happens. Cool. Uh, Sight the gun in, hopefully find something big. Before heading out to the field, Wade and Tim stopped by the range. This is a brand new Thompson Center Arms Venture. It's never been shot, but these guns are so accurate that Thompson Center guarantees one inch grouping at 100 yards right out of the box. One's a little off center, about a half inch, another's a little bit low to the left. With the rifle set up, Tim is anxious to get into the field and get a good look at what this ranch has to offer. It was nice. It was almost just like at home. We have basically the same with whitetail and uh, turkeys and stuff all kind of blending together. And anytime we go out in the woods and see animals, it makes it a lot more interesting and nature is nice. After spending the morning in a box blind, the crew picked up the hunt again after lunch this time setting up near a small pond with Tim elevated high in a tripod stand. After getting everybody situated and settled in, it didn't take long for things to start happening. Early on, an axis doe and two fawns showed up, giving Tim his first look at the potential of the area. After studying the axis, Tim saw more movement in the brush. You know, off to my left, three white tails and two beautiful bucks that I was restraining from 
<laughs> wanting to shoot one of those, even though I can get them at home, but even ones that big can't really get at home like a shot like that. So I turned down the whitetails knowing I had one extra day to hunt, hoping for the axis or a black deer. And five minutes after we turned down the whitetail, there was the two axis bucks came into view, so. As most landowners in the region will tell you, axis deer love protein feeders. And it's not uncommon to find the axis dominating these feeders over the native species. From high in his perch, Tim has two bucks within range. One is inside the feeder pen and isn't offering much of a shot. The other buck is grazing outside the pen, just over a hundred yards out. Waiting patiently, Tim lets the buck move himself into position. Switching the safety off, Tim puts the Nikon crosshairs just behind the shoulder. Well, I didn't know I made a good shot when I hit it, but after we realized it only went about 10 feet and laid down that I had hit it. They don't grow those in Pennsylvania, Tim. No, I got they don't. <laughs> they don't grow too many like we had the whitetail beside us either. Look at that. <laughs> It was truly awesome, and everybody from Thompson Center thanked them for, and Smith and Wesson for putting it on, and it's truly appreciated. And I'm glad I want it. And I'm glad I'm using it, and I'm glad I got a deer. Congratulations on a successful hunt. To learn more about the Thompson Center Venture Rifle, check them out online at tcarms.com. Well, before wrapping up this week's show, we've got one more stop to make. If you're a rancher or you just have a small deer lease, you know the value of managing your property to ensure adequate nutrition for your wildlife. You'll want to check this out. Now it's early July and about two weeks ago we received some really heavy rains which were really nice for this. We'd been droughty throughout the summer but now we have the rain and we have a flush of vegetation growing. So what I want to do is some habitat management to get that vegetation stimulated to continue to grow throughout August. So let me show you what we're going to work with and how we're going to get it done. Now this is an area that was cleared off by the landowner roughly about six months ago. So we still have some brush piles out here, but what we have after this rain is a really heavy flush of vegetation. Now we've got everything from ragweed, which is going to be an excellent dove food to the excellent quail food. We've got silver leaf nightshade, which is the same way it'll produce a very hard seed that dove and quail are definitely going to like. We've got our grasses. We've got wheat satch out here. We still got some white brush. We've got Texas persimmon. We've got a little bit of hackberry out here. So what I want to do is kind of come in here and clean up this in specific areas mow some of it down and leave some of it. That'll allow animals like quail and dove to be able to access that seed once it seeds out on the ground, but also be able to get right back into cover as needed. As well for the deer, having that fresh forb growth will give them something to eat on, which will be high in protein and get them through that antler growing season, plus tending to those fawns. To learn more about how Cabela's can help you manage your property, look them up online at cabelas.com. You can also see more segments about Cabela's wildlife and land management on Yamaha's Whitetail Diaries. Check out your local listings for air dates. If you'd like to catch up on past episodes, head to AmericanaOutdoors.com and check out the complete library of Americana Outdoors, Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, and many more shows. You can also visit the Americana Outdoors Facebook page. Check in with us and tell us about your last hunt. And finally, we'd like to send out a special thanks to our friends at Garmin International, Cabela's, and at Thompson Center Arms for helping to make this episode possible. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.